to 2024, it's 1st of January and I'm at the Poranui um, station access route into the Kaimanawa Forest Park and um, so yeah the next few days are going to be heading into um, the Kaimanawa, going to be going through past Omaru, staying at Boyd uh, and then past Tussock, staying at Harkness um, and then carrying on um, to Tupuki, um, staying at Mangaturutu and then carrying on to the Mangatanoka Hot Springs and then out in the Kaiwaka Range where I'm getting picked up. So yeah, about 70 kilometers. Um, so yeah, one of my longer trips, but really looking forward to it. So the first stretch of this walk is through private land and this is the Poranui Station. Uh, it's a private deer farm. You can come and pay lots of money here and go for a hunt if you want. Um, not for me, so but fortunately we can get um, access into the Kaimanawa through this private land so we've just got to follow the pole route and then on to Omaru Hut Well this is probably the downside of coming through Paranui it might be shorter but it's not that interesting walking on sort of well-formed gravel roads through farmland really so still cruising through Poranui probably about five kilometers from the road end now so we've got another Probably six k's to go before we get to Omaru Hut. Well, I've just reached the boundary of conservation land, and according to the sign, I've got 35 minutes left to go. I've been walking for roughly two hours and ten minutes to get to this stage, so looks like I'll be on track to get to Omaru roughly three hours for the thing, so which is pretty good. Just bumped into some people um, about ten minutes ago. Said the um, river levels are reasonably high, which is to be expected. We've had a bit of rain overnight. Um, anyway, we'll put the crocs on, head across and see how we get on. Hopefully it's not too deep. And hopefully it's good when I'm sort of heading out towards Boyd. Um, yeah, I was a little bit concerned when I saw it was raining last night. But anyway, there's a good weather window ahead of me, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm carrying on my walk to Omaru Hut. Um, Okay, last year in March I was here with um, members of the Backcountry Trust. Um, we spent five days in here clearing tracks around um, the Omaru Hut. Um, this area here from the Paranui Access Route and then also up the Kaipo and up the Omaru Valley. Um, yeah, Megan, David, Taylor, myself and Kareen. Yeah, you guys were great to work with. Yeah. We worked our butts off but um, we had a lot of fun doing, doing what we did. Um, and yeah, as you can see, here's some of the some of the windfall we cleared. Uh, I think you can just about see it there. Uh, but yeah, there was just kilometres of the stuff we cleared. So yeah. So yeah, I've just reached the Omaru River, um, getting nearer to the Omaru Hut. Um, and yeah, those guys definitely weren't joking about the water levels. It's definitely a bit deeper than I remember it being when I was here previously. Anyway, um, I do know where to go, so hopefully I can get there alright. Oh, safely on the <clears throat> riverbank on the other side, but boy oh boy, that was on the limit. It would not want it to be flowing any quicker than that, it's pretty strong. <sighs> Absolutely relieved to be on the other side, that's never been so relieved. Well, things are running to time. I'm having my lunch. It's on Maria Hut, and it's and I got you about a day. So, yeah, just having a bit of a relax and some food, and then we'll be on to Boyd Hut. Anyway, just show you quickly inside this hut. It's a pretty big hut. Got six bunks over here. Communal area in the middle. on this side. 
and it overlooks the Omaru River. Well, lunch is finished, so time to continue the journey. On to Boyd Hut. The sign at the bottom said it's five to seven hours, so it's 1.15 now. Assuming I get there in five hours, this will be around 6.15. If not, 8.15, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Just continuing up the Omari Valley. Um, not too long now and I'll be under cover of bush, which will be nice. It's got quite warm now. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably about three kilometers from the uh, Omari hut. We've got about 9 k's left now to Boyd. It's one of the campsites on the Omari River on the way to Boyd. It's quite a nice one. And here is the Omari River. And that's where you need to get to on the other side. So we'll be crocs on, see if we can get across. It's just such a beautiful little valley this. Love walking up here. Sunning with the sunlight streaming through the trees and the river. Rushing by and the sound of the water. Definitely one of my happy places walking through here. So this is further up the Omari Boyd track. Just lovely little camp spot over here. Remember last time I was here there was somebody with a tent out here. You can see why you'd want to stay here. It's just gorgeous. Finally at the track junction. Um, so one way to Cascade and the other way to Boyd. I think Boyd's only about three and a half cash from here now, so hopefully I can beat the two hour time. And it's about five o'clock now, so not doing too bad. Well, hopefully I found a good place to cross. A lot of the rivers today have been flowing pretty quick, so I'll just have to see how this one goes. Hopefully it's not too deep. And safely across, that was about knee high. Still pretty strong in the middle though. A bit nerve wracking, but anyway, all's good now. Well, survived the river crossings. 
And now I'm at the junction to the hut. Supposedly 15 minutes left. At the junction, but um, anyway, one of the unusual things about this valley is there's an airstrip in here, and it's apparently a pretty good one. Um, my friend Rodney like, recently flew here in his small plane, said it was pretty good, so sure it took you a lot less than 10 hours to get here Rodney in your plane that's for sure well I've just caught sight of the hut um, just up there in that little valley and above the hut is Boyd Rocks so I've got 400 meters to go um, it's been roughly 10 hours for me to get here I had a pretty long lunch break but you could you could maybe do it in nine but that would be absolutely pushing it Boy, that's five shanks pony. Whew. So it's day two. I've been staying at Boyd Lodge, Boyd Hut. Um, yeah, had some people staying here last night. Good, good chat with them. Um, they're on their way to Cascade today. Um, so the plan for today, um, heading out to Tussock Hut and then carrying on past Tussock to Harkness and spend the night there. Um, yeah, I've heard the track to Harkness has got something like 30 river crossings, so it's going to be a wet boot day today. Um, but a slightly shorter walk today. Uh, yesterday was 25 k's from um, Paranui to Boyd. I think today probably only got about 10 k's to do so, so yeah nice to have a slightly more relaxing day today uh, yesterday was pretty long so this is the boy day strip I was talking about yesterday anyway so on route to Tussock at the moment so I'm just going to walk the length of the airstrip and then drop off the end and then Cross the river and hopefully pick up the track. So I've just dropped off the airstrip, now heading down the valley, and um, yeah, hopefully, going to pick up the track soon. I've picked up the track again after being on the airstrip. Not a lot of track markers around here, it's a little bit like choose your own adventure. But um, anyway, I've got about 50 meters and then I'll cross the Nairo Roro and we'll be heading up to Tussock. Just about as deep as he'd want it, almost waist high. the last of the big river crossings hopefully <laughs> this looks like our first Kawaka track marker the typical metal Kawaka track signs 
Look how old these are. There we go, tussle cut, one hour, 30 minutes. Well, it's just about time for me to leave the Nairarora River to be heading up to Tussock. Just heading up to the top of this ridge for my descent down to Tussock. And first starting of Tussock Hut. Doesn't look like there's anybody there. So just arriving now at Tussock. Don't think there's anybody here today. But this will be my lunchtime spot. Oh, it looks like somebody's been a good steward of the huts and left loads of firewood. It's pretty good to see. Lunchtime at Tussock Hut. It's the usual Sea Lord tuna, sweet thyme chili, and some other trail mix. Anyway, it's a pretty good lunch for the backcountry. Keeps me going. Okay, well, I've had lunch at Tussock Hut and now just about to head off to Harkness. So I think it's around five and a half, six Ks. Sign yes, is two and a half hours, so I'm thinking probably be about three. Um, yeah, Harkness Valley, lots and lots of river crossings, so I got that to look forward to. Well, I've made it down into the Harkness Valley, and now this is the start of the 30 river crossings which I've heard about. Um, but it's, it's nice to be down next to a river. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty warm day, so not all bad at all. Still making my way down the Harkness River. I think I'm probably at about crossing number 15 or 16. Oh, well, after more tr river crossings than I'd care to think about, I um, finally arrived at the track junction to Harkness. Um, it's about five, six hundred meters up there, so not too long to go. Seems some good trout in the river, just where the Naapuru and the Harkness Rivers. Um, joined together, so I might have to come back and have a look at that. And you anyway, know, that's looking down the river valley down towards Nyapura. And this track junction here means I've arrived finally at Harkness Hut. Whew. Distance wise, less than yesterday, challenge wise, not much difference. That <laughs> was really interesting that bit between Tussock and here. And here we have Hark the Sut. Just your fairly standard Kawika six bunk hut. somewhat elevated above the river below. Okay, so I'm um, back here at the junction between the Naipuru and the um, Harkness rivers. I'll see if I can catch myself some dinner. I did see some fish in the um, river aviary earlier, so fingers crossed I can see one there now. We'll see what happens.
the lip fish there just try to have a go at that lure almost straight away. Oh well I gave that a pretty good go, um, there's not that many fish in this pool but there is there was one that showed a bit of initial interest but then yeah nothing after that so anyway I'm just going to have a bit of a scout down the river see if there's any more deep pools otherwise it's back to the hut for usual sort of dehydrated backcountry food I had rather hoped I was going to get trout tonight but anyway that's okay Oh well it's Real Mills Bacon Mash at Harkness Hut tonight. Um, just had a bit of it now, it's really nice. So, didn't get a trout, but at least dinner's still pretty tasty. Okay, so it's just about 8.30, so time for me to start heading off to Tea Pookie Hut. A few more river crossings and then a very sustained uphill section up to Tea Pookie. Just zooming here a bit, so been walking roughly an hour and a quarter. Um, I'm on that little point there, that's 13.44, um, so I've got roughly a kilometre and a half left to get to the hut. Um, yeah, hoping for a bit of cell phone coverage when I get up to the high point there above the hut. Um, got to confirm my travel plans for pickup at the hot pools. So I've just broken the tree canopy out into the tops so you can see up towards Tipuki there looks like a trig beacon on the top of the hill so in a few minutes I'll be dropping down that direction and then just over there is Tipuki Hut and that'll be my lunchtime stop and then carry on to Munga Turutu I've often thought about coming hunting here at Tepuki, it looks like a pretty good place actually. I can see why people like Greg and others have been here before, this looks this looks like a good spot. I just caught my first glimpse of Tepuki Hut. So I just had lunch at Tipuki Hikaru Rua Hut and now I'm on my way to Munga Turutu Hut. Um, sign says 7k is 3 hours 15 minutes so should be there roughly 4ish. So I'm roughly about a kilometre from the Mangaturu to track junction. Currently heading up to the peak of this area. It's been a bit of a slog again today. I keep thinking I'm going to have an easy day, but there's no such thing as an easy day in the Kawaka range. So I've just arrived at the track junction. 
Um, according to that sign over there, it's a three hour walk. It's definitely taken me a bit longer than three hours to get to this point. Um, I think what I've worked out is that mornings I can beat the track times, afternoons not so much. Um, but anyway, I'm glad I've gotten here. A little bit behind schedule, but still got plenty of daylight, so it's okay. And also good to catch sight of the, the main range again. Kawika J. It's the last 200 meters to Mangaturutu hut. And I've arrived at Mangaturutu hut finally. Judging by the fact the door is shut, I'd say I've got the place to myself. Mungaturuti hut. Well, it's um, Thursday morning, so it's day four. Um, plan for today is to head down from Mungaturuti hut, where I'm staying now, uh, down to the Makina River, and then on to Makina hut, um, and then on to the Mangatanoka campsite, where I'm going to meet my daughters. Um, but anyway, I'm just standing on the helicopter pad at Mangaturutu Hut and I uh, just thought I'd show you the, the view down there. Um, so anyway, so it's somewhere down there, sort of that direction, um, is the Mangatanoka um, Hot Springs site, um, where I'll be walking to later today. So I finally arrived at the Makina River. This is the three wire bridge that runs the link. And for some reason Doc has decided it is not safe to use anymore. Not sure why. To be honest I probably would have crossed um, through the river anyway, these three wire bridges give me the creeps. I've been across the one by rocks ahead and yeah. Wibbly wobbly probably describes it pretty well. It's slightly terrifying. Oh well. Um busy doing my climb up out of the Makino River Valley. Uh, according to the GPS I've got roughly 200 meters to go. Um, so it's been pretty steep and unrelenting. Good thing I've got my morning legs on. It certainly helps. So I've just arrived at the track junction. Uh, from here on in it's reasonably flat to Makino. So looking forward to some easy strolling for a change. Yeah, just bumped into Fiona Dooley and um, one of her volunteer ladies doing trap work so it's good to have a chat with them um, yeah anyway onwards and up just had lunch at Makino Hut and I'm on my way now to Tafoya Hut can have a drink of water Put my name in the hut book. Hopefully I've beaten my daughters to the hut. I can write them a nice little message in the, in the hut book.
So my daughters have arrived probably about 20 minutes ago and they're busy setting up their tent. So what have you got to say, Amy? <laughs> uh, my feet are sore. Was it a good walk? Mm -hmm. Megs? <laughs> Is it warm, Amy? <laughs> Figured it out. What do you have to say? It's very cold. Look, Dad's getting ready to fish. say oh yeah hello everybody in dad's YouTube um, I just want to let everyone know that I am the best and I am the, the favorite daughter <laughs> yeah. Probably won't do too much more today other than just pick up and walk out. It's been a wonderful trip though. It's been really good to meet up with my daughters and spend the night out here with them. And yeah, the fishing wasn't so good. We haven't managed to catch anything, but no, neither did anybody else from what I could see. Um, but really enjoyed the hot pools and the just the surroundings. This is definitely one of my favourite camp spots to come to really really spectacular setting and the hot pools is just it's just so good I'll tell you what after 60 kilometers of walking hot pools was definitely something I really really enjoyed so breakfast time the girls team still asleep <laughs> Dance caterpillar. Oh my God. It's really going for a low. <laughs> he's on a mission, he's got somewhere to be. Where are you going, Mr. Caterpillar? He's been camped out all night on my sock. <laughs> Almost walking out. Right, we're heading off. Bye, hot pool. <laughs> Understand what happened. So, what happens if you overload the bridge? You guys flat. See. Into the river. Like that. Yes. <laughs> How does it go, Amy? Continuing our walk out of Tapoya and out to the road end. Enjoying the walk? Yes, yes. Hi, yeah. 
What did you say, Megs? Yeah, I like it too. The end of the road, 70 kilometers. First trip into the Kawaka girls, what did Good. you think? Good. <laughs> Good. The hot springs are very nice. I see. And the walk is nice and the trees are nice. Yeah. But it's very tiring. Yes. Very up and down. Yeah. It's like 20 kilometers. There's no such thing as an easy walk in the Kawaka range, unfortunately, but, um, <laughs> but it's a pretty can... rewarding place to come, though. Uh. <laughs> I see. Anyway. I think that's a wrap.